Hi, this is Taisha Roland from Science Buddies. In this video, we will show you how to assemble a mini theremin from a kit. This is what the theremin will look like when it's all assembled. This is just to give you an idea of what to expect. Note that the antenna on the back left of the theremin is long and not fully shown in this picture. Here are the materials you will need to assemble the theremin. You will need four new AA batteries that will need to either be alkaline or manganese. You will need a small number one Phillips screwdriver and you will need the theremin kit itself. If you are using a screwdriver that is not magnetized, you can magnetize it using the speaker. This will make it easier to hold screws in place with the screwdriver. To do this, remove the circuit board and speaker from the theremin kit. This is what they look like. Be careful with the speaker wires so that they do not break or come loose, and do not let the speaker dangle if possible. Carefully unwrap the speaker, as shown here. Rub the tip of the screwdriver against the magnet at the back of the speaker a few times in the same direction. You can try the screwdriver out on some screws now to see if it's magnetized. Be careful not to touch the transparent cone on the speaker since it can easily be damaged. Next, remove the battery cartridge from the kit. It looks like this. Also remove the four legs from the kit. The legs look like the one being held in the hand here. Stick one of the legs into one of the slots on the corners of the battery cartridge. Stick the rest of the legs into the slots on the corners of the battery cartridge, as shown here. Flip the cartridge over. You should see four small holes in the corners, which are being pointed to with blue arrows in this picture. This is where you will place screws to keep the legs attached and stable. Fasten the legs in place using the screws that came with the kit. You should use four of the small screws. There should be a total of seven small screws that came with the kit. Next, you will want to put the circuit board and speaker inside of the stand you have assembled. Line the stand up with the speaker and circuit board as shown here. They need to be put together in the correct direction. Place the circuit board and speaker inside of the stand. Carefully pull the wire, the wires with the white connector, which is shown on the bottom here, over the side so it is not blocked by the circuit board. Again, be sure not to pull on the wires going to the speaker too much, and do not touch the transparent cone part of the speaker because it's fragile. Fasten the circuit board in place using the last three small screws, which have blue arrows pointing to them in this picture. Find the white connector, which is from the battery cartridge, Plug the white connector into the matching white slot on the circuit board. Make sure that the direction is correct. Push the white connector all the way into the slot. Now remove the speaker cover from the kit. The speaker cover looks like the part on the bottom of this image. Place the speaker inside of the speaker cover, as shown here. Make sure the direction is the same as in this picture. The triangles that stick out of the speaker cover should be on the opposite side of the speaker wires. Use the three screws with collars to fasten the speaker in place. You should have a total of four screws like this in the kit. Be sure not to touch the area where the wires join the speaker with the screws. Now remove the long antenna from the kit. Snap it into place over the hole that is pointed out by the blue arrow. Make sure to push the antenna down into the gap next to the hole, as shown here. Once the antenna is in place, identify the white wire that has a metal loop on the end. See the blue arrow in this image. Take the metal loop that is on the end of the white wire and place the loop on top of the hole where the antenna is. Then secure the white wire and the antenna in place using the last screw with a collar. Be careful not to get injured by the tip of the antenna. 
Next, remove the small black antenna holders from the kit. This is what they look like. Attach the antenna holders around the antenna and snap them together. Let the snap together antenna holders sit on the antenna for now. Now slide the speaker holder into the theremin stand. When you do this, lift up the antenna holder so that it rests on the top of the speaker holder. Do not worry if things do not stay in place. You will be securing them in a moment. Now remove the upper body of the theremin from the kit. This is what the upper body part looks like. Put the antenna through the hole in the upper body and then carefully slide the parts together so they fit as shown here. The antenna holder will also go through the hole in the upper body. The speaker holder should slide into place in the groove on the upper body. Make sure everything has slid together correctly, but it will not stay in place yet. You will now want to connect a lever to the on-off switch on the theremin. To do this, carefully open the theremin, as shown here, so you can see the on-off switch. Remove the black on-off switch lever from the kit. Set the lever over the on-off switch in the theremin. The bump on the lever should go over the switch knob, and the lever should rest in the hole on the side of the theremin, as shown here. Put the theremin back together. It is nearly ready to play. Carefully flip the theremin over to look at the battery cartridge. Be sure not to bend the antenna while you do this. Take the last screw from the kit, which should be a relatively large screw, and screw the top and bottom parts of the theremin together by screwing this screw into the hole being pointed to by the blue arrow. Hold the top and bottom parts together with your other hand while you fasten the screw in tightly. Put the batteries into the battery cartridge. Be sure they are oriented in the correct way or it could damage the theremin. Remove the lid of the battery box from the kit and snap it into place on the battery cartridge. There will be a black tuning stick on the battery box lid which you will use in a moment. It is not shown here. Your theremin is now ready to play. Turn it on using the black switch in the back. Do you hear it? Before really playing the theremin, you will want to tune it. This is an involved process that will be discussed in the science project that uses the mini theremin kit. For now, you can identify the two controls on the front that you will be adjusting, which are shown here. Here you can see the tuning stick, which is used to carefully adjust these controls to finely tune the theremin so you can play it. Once the theremin is tuned, see what it's like to play it. Give it a try. Science Buddies hosts a library of over 1,000 other free science fair project ideas for K-12 students in a wide variety of topic areas from astronomy to zoology. You can visit the Science Buddies website at sciencebuddies.org.